Neil, Neil here, your fragrance director. Welcome to everyone to the fabulous fragrance section of this segment. So I'm so happy to be here and to welcome this all-star panel I have here. And we're going to talk, you can guess it, because we're dressed fully in it, about velvet. And we're going to get behind the scenes a little bit um, and see how it's been made, because I love doing that, and I'm sure that you do too. Um, and we're going to get behind the scenes and talk to Gabriella, who is the perfumer, the artist of perfumer, that created the scent. And it's Gabriella Pelayo. <laughs> So Gabriella, please tell us a bit about yourself. Well, first of all, I would like to thank you for inviting me to this amazing event. It's been amazing and uh, quite, uh, quite thrilling. And I hope Ava is quite happy to have such an amazing group of representatives. It's been quite, uh, quite a thrill. Um, <laughs> so, um, 20 years ago, I fell in love with perfumery while I was uh, finishing my studies in pharmacy in Romania, where I grew up. Uh, in 2000, I moved to New York City to pursue a career in the uh, fragrance industry. Uh, since then, I was very uh, fortunate to work with very uh, many exciting uh, fragrance brands like uh, Victoria's Secret, Abercrombie and Fitch, uh, Ralph Lauren, Michael Kors, and uh, Jennifer Lopez, Nicki Minaj, and of course, uh, Ava. I love to share with my customers about this great fragrance. So can you tell us, what inspired you to uh, create Velvet? The concept of Velvet was very uh, inspiring uh, for me uh, because of its um, uh, luxurious uh, texture, because of uh, the way the fabric shines in the light and, in the light and the femininity of, uh, of uh, the, the fabric. Uh, talking about Velvet, I immediately uh, thought about uh, Rose because of its opulence and because of a uh, velvety texture. Uh, and um, that was the, the main note that I constructed the fragrance around. Um, the, the rose brings uh, to the heart of the fragrance uh, a luxurious indulgence that really keeps you coming back for more. Um, I also was inspired by the emotion of a first kiss, at once accelerating but very delicate. I hope you all remember that. <laughs> Fabulous. And Gabriella, we work closely on, on building this, this product together. And how long would you say um, it was before we thought, we've cracked it, this is the perfect scent for Avon, exclusive for Avon? Well, in this case, it was a kind of an instant love affair. Uh, once I created the core of the fragrance, we knew this, is, this was it. But, uh, but after that, we continued to finesse, finesse it for uh, four months creating hundreds of uh, versions with small tweaks until we were sure we, we had the perfect version. And every facet shone through. Neil, I think this question is for you. So what, how did you come up with the design of the bottle? No, and um, the, the name of yeah, the fragrance. Of course. Well, I think um, everyone uses fragrance, I hope, um, out there. But you can see out there in the market today, people are wanting more sensory experiences from their products and in the storytelling and the concepts. So if we start to delve into something like texture, like velvet, um, then we start to unlock um, a story that's um, more sensorial, uh, more authentic. And we can tell that story really well with the design of this packaging, because it's just like um, the jackets and dresses that we're wearing, when you feel the touch of the cap, which is velvet touch, that's the first thing you experience, and it starts that experience, that sensory experience for you. And the premium weight of the bottle and the rich burgundy color really evoke what you're going to get from the scent, which is that warm, luxurious feeling. Um, so it's all adding together to give you that experience, that sensorial experience. Very good. So, as I'm sharing this with my customers, uh, what, uh, who should they have in mind? You know, young, old. Can you tell us more about that? Yeah. So, velvet is dazzling, rich, indulgent, decadent, but at the same time has a luminosity that makes it, makes it easy and approachable. Any woman can wear uh, this fragrance, and uh, when she wants to bring some elegant beauty into her day. That's right. I mean, it's really for anyone that wants that moment. Indulgence. I mean, who doesn't want that? You all want that? Fabulous. And another thing, actually, um, that you can share with your customers um, is this one really packs a punch when it comes to lasting power. 
Um, so Gabriella, can you tell us a bit about how we managed to do that with this fragrance? In addition, in addition, uh, using raw materials that are quite uh, high quality, uh, I also made sure that uh, I use uh, long-lasting raw materials at every every uh, step of the fragrance. So on top, there is a rich. Uh, of fig notes, very sparkling, very inviting. In the mid, there is luxurious rose, and uh, most importantly is the velvet patchouli, the skin mask, and the sweet vanilla in the back that are key ingredients for long lastingness. In the Gabriella, how does this compare to other fragrances? I love to be able to um, set Avon apart by telling my customers. The unique combination between the fig, rose, uh, patchouli, uh, vanilla, and the skin mask makes this fragrance very bold, very new and original. Uh, it really stands out in, uh, in uh, the sea of sameness in the market. And also, I wanted to add that velvet is not just a promise. It's a real. It creates a reality of uh, luxury and beauty and endless possibilities. I hope you'll appreciate that. Thank you so much, Gabriella, for joining us. Gabriella, Kelly you everybody. Thank you. So let's welcome now Mike Connaughton to the stage to join us.